Hey everybody, welcome back to Sylvia's Sweet Sweet Reactions and today we are doing Venom The Last Dance. As you already know, I am behind because I moved, but I am trying to ca catch up, okay? Don't, don't come for me. So, as I previously mentioned, my third novel is officially out, you guys. By the time you see this, it's now available on Amazon, ba um, Barnes and Noble, BookBubs, um, Lick, um, Lick, what was it? LickCatalog.com or something like that. It's, it's on any place where you buy books. So check it out, you guys, if you are a reader. Like, I'm not forcing it on people who don't read books. If you read books and you like fantasy books, this is a six book series. So the third book is now out. So you have three and while you wait for, for four, five and six, you know, I have other books that are coming out um, that I have to write before I write four, five and four, five and six of this one. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're watching Venom. So I don't, so here's my thing with Venom. So the first movie was like perfect masterpiece. And I do like that in the comics that Venom really loves um, his host. What is his host name again? Cause I always forget. Uh, Taste my Venom. Mm -mm. Yeah, um, Eddie Brock. I don't know why. I always forget his name. Eddie Brock. I love that in my comic books that Venom loved him so much that he kept healing and replacing cells and stuff. So that basically he kind of became like a, a husk because he he loved him so much that he didn't want to let him go. But he do eventually let him go and then he becomes a pile of dust. I love, that's what I love is that they have this bond, this friendship that is really strong. I don't like the second movie. Um, I feel like that it was trying to focus too much on multiple things. Um, I feel like it could have expanded Venom and Eddie's relationship and bond with each other as symbiotes. And host, I feel like that they could have touched more on maybe a hint of Eddie Brock's hatred towards Spider-Man. You get what I'm saying? Like they could have done to me more for that movie. So I'm hoping that this redeems it. So let's get started. You should probably know that I have a really dark and unpredictable side to me. Stop speaking. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Say when. When? Let's go! We are. We are. We are. No. Oh. Yeah, we. We are. No. We really need to work on that. Delicious. You take me to all the finest places. I need time off. We always knew it was impossible. But we were alone in the universe. And it's our job to make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get him. Run. 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 Run.
Because if one of them dies, the other one might die. I don't know. Well, technically, if, Ven if Eddie dies, Venom still lives. But if Venom dies, all the stuff that went on with Eddie's body, he might die. I don't know, you guys. But when he was like, it's time, I'm like... Time for what? Time for what? You got me thinking, which makes me interested in watching it. So they're battling like three things. The fact that they're fugitives from the law. His um, home... Um, Venom's home planet has found Earth. And they, I guess, want to take over. Then two, I mean three, that there seems to be um, maybe another issue going on between them from the trailer. Like there's, like Eddie don't look so good. So I'm like, it might be like he dying or something. I don't know. But... There's only one way to find out. So it's in theaters in October. So I'm happy about that. Woo! <laughs> All right. If you liked this movie trailer reaction, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of me and become a sweet tea, hit that subscribe button. See you later, you guys.